Hi guys, what's up? I'm back with Kill Bill Volume 2 for you. I filmed the first one yesterday and I'm excited to see if she actually kills Bill in this one. I'm, I'm assuming she does. She has three more people in her list to go through and I think probably my favorite was when she was fighting was it Cottonmouth? Lucy Liu's character. That was um, probably the most epic thing. I do like the eye patch lady because she was in Sense8 as a pretty pretty interesting character. Yeah, I was thoroughly surprised by Uma's acting in the first one, probably the best I've seen her act. And I just like how the story is told because it's not anything I'm very used to, so it, I like being caught by surprise and not be able to predict much um, and just like experience it as a book. I'm excited to see volume two here. It came out in 2004 and it's two hours and 17 minutes. Uh, let's get going. <laughs> I honestly don't know how the heck like, they haven't even revealed her name, which I think is really intriguing. I like that. But the bride, uh, Uma Thurman's character, how she survived so much shit. She got slashed in the back as well at the end of the last one. But yeah, I guess Lucy's sword isn't as badass as um, the the bride's. <laughs> you find me sadistic. Okay, so starting off similar to the first one. No kill. Nothing sadistic in my actions. These lines are really good. Like, I like how it's this written. Moment. The script. Bill? It's your Interesting dream. the switch from color to black and white. It happened, um, well, in that scene, but also during the fight scene. I wasn't coma. I was to lie in for four years. Nice storytelling. Nice recap. When I woke up, I went on with the movie advertisements Talking to us. To as a roaring rampage of revenge. I roared. Yes, you I did, revenged. girl. Satisfaction. Three more to go, come on. I've killed a hell of a lot of people to get to this point. How many? Give me a number. But I have only one more. Oh. The one I'm driving to right now. Are you gonna recap the other the only two? One left. Bill. The only movies I've seen by Tarantino is uh, Django Unchained and Inglorious Bastards, I believe. And one other one, I don't remember what it's called though. The local TV news called it the El Paso, Texas Wedding Chapel Massacre. That's a long name. How many got killed and who killed them changes depending on who's telling the story. But you're telling it. In actual fact. So we get the, the real shit. The didn't happen during a wedding at all. It was a wedding rehearsal. Oh, okay. Let's remember. Now, when we come to the part. Oh, yes, you forgot uh, the seating arrangements. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> Mother. Now <laughs> She's quite annoying, yeah. I'm gonna go outside and get some air. I like this music. Yeah, the flute. Nice. It's foreboding. You can feel it building up. Shots are getting shorter. Is that Bill? He wasn't charmed. I recognize the voice. It's quite unique. When we go, I was playing my flute. Finally get to see uh, the first bit of the movie. That's good. I'm knocked up. Jeez Louise. That young man of yours sure doesn't believe in wasting time, does he? Slowly inching towards each other. Seen, spilling tension for sure. I work in the record store. I like this shot here. Do you like it? Facing each other like that in yeah, black like it and white. Yeah, smart ass. I get to listen to music all day. Talk about yeah, it's nice. It's a nice job. Really cool. <laughs> I happen to be more or less particular who my gal marries. It's like he owns everybody in their team. I had the loveliest dream about you. Oh, here's Tommy. Call me around. What's the dream? Lucky for us all, that's not the case. So, what's this all this about? It's such like a, not awkward, but it's like there's no background music. It's just supposed to be like you're waiting for it to happen. Everything that you know is going to happen. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop, basically. What am I thinking? You should give her away. Honestly. That's not exactly daddy's cup of tea. <laughs> really? He wouldn't That's give her what? away. Which is the bride's side? Right over here. 
so awkward. I actually think she's, yeah. He's in love with her. And I almost get the sense that their, like, group is kind of a culty thing where he's, like, the leader. Everybody has to adore him and only him. It's too long of a kiss if you claim that that's your father. <laughs> there we go. Boom, 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 boom. They're gonna go crazy. Kill everybody she cares about first and then beat her to death. And then put a bullet in her. Do we not get to see the actual fights? We well, saw bits of it last movie, but where they're all totally ganged up on her and all beat her up. That's beautiful. Hella different colors. You telling me she cut her way through eighty-eight bodyguards? Before she got to Oren? Yeah. No, it wasn't 88. Really 88. Yeah, I was like they just called themselves. That's what I was wondering. How come? I don't know. <laughs> I guess they thought it sounded cool. Yeah. But you haven't by any chance kept up with your sword play. Doesn't look like it. Nope. <laughs> you hawked a Hattori Hanzo sword. Oh my friend. Come on. It was priceless. <laughs> How much did you get for it? <laughs> well, in El Paso, I got me two hundred and fifty dollars for it. Only two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm a bouncer and a titty bar, Bill. Oh, great! If you have nothing like protect against the Hansa sword, like you're gonna be cut to shreds within a second. And start becoming afraid of because she is coming. There you go. She's coming to kill you. And unless you accept kind of don't want to know her name just because I like the mystery. See, that woman deserves her revenge. Yeah, I like him. She actually gonna? Ah, uh, I bet she will. There ain't nobody in here, man. Yeah. yeah. I was like, is it opening soon? But it's literally just empty. It's totally dead. Why do you need a bouncer? That you're not doing the job that I'm paying you to do is that you don't have a job to do? Yeah. No. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's calendar time. Just leave your money calendar on the desk by the like, Where's your yeah, safe? You more? You there used to be your name. <laughs> what a... Okay. I mean, fair, like there he was late to, to work a name. bunch of times, uh, but Monday he's being totally the... dicky about it. Yeah, how about, how about that? You're Welcome on your calendar. The, only thing you... uh, the toilet is at it again. There's shitty water all over the floor. Rock it. I'll clean it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is she waiting for you? I'm always like, where is he going with the camera? Oh, there she is. Like, interesting how she's approaching this, because with the f last movie, she just went for it, you know? She like, knocked on the first lady's door, got into a fight, and then the second time, she just walked into that hotel and fucked shit up. Here yeah, she's taking all her time. Oh, God. Please, you're wearing an armor plate right now. Blood. I wouldn't have entered through the front door when he, you know he's sitting right there. God damn it. He should have just gone fast like when he was yeah. outside without a gun. Ain't nobody a badass with a double dose of rock salt. Rock salt. Tits. Okay, so that's why I didn't <laughs> kill her. <laughs> Ew. Fuck, that's gross. What are you doing? <coughs> Sedating? This is not going as well for her as the other ones. This guy doesn't even have a sword. I guess like he just doesn't care about the honor of, you know, 
fighting. Like, he just, like, snuck a gun in the whole thing and just was like, boom, done. He doesn't really care about a one versus one. That's legit. I mean, that's exactly what the first lady tried to do, though, but her aim sucked through that circle box. Yes, that's why there's, that's why no. there's specific lists from easiest to hardest. Wrong brother. You hateful bitch. <laughs> she must suffer to her last breath. <laughs> well, that's what you're just gonna screw you over. That hell, darling. Dang. Once that sedation wears off, though, she's gonna be angry. You'll regret not killing her right away. You gonna bury her alive? Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. <laughs> He's actually gonna bury her alive. Well, if you watched um, the Girl with a Dragon Tattoo movies, the Swedish ones, she was like shot and buried alive and she still made it so. But if you're gonna act like a horse's ass, I'm gonna spray his whole goddamn can. He's in right your eyeballs. Like, I'll burn him right out of your fucking It's head. just such an uneven advantage. She's literally kind of paralyzed right now. And buried alive. Yeah, it's probably one of the worst ways to go. Buried alive. Mm. It's just so terrifying, I can't. This is for breaking my brother's heart. What about for killing, almost killing her? And she thanks her child too, but we found out that her daughter's still alive. Well, she find that out. Breathe slower. It's a lot of nails, like how the heck are you getting out of this? I'm kind of stressed right now. I like how they did this because it's we're kind of experiencing exactly what she is, and it's freaking me out. But it's it's good. Tipped into the ground. Then we're gonna hear shuff sh shoveling soon, or like dirt landing on the coffin. It's Absolutely terrifying. She's wasting so much oxygen. At least he gave her a flashlight and not matches. <laughs> you should have started to get out before all of that dirt was on top of you. Now that's the pressure as well on top of that lid. Use every last breath to try and get it out of there, that's for sure. kind of fucked up like going straight through the front door where he was waiting with a shotgun that's come on you're a ninja you can be sneakier than that she definitely tried her hardest to try and sneak attack him and i'm wondering is he was he that good of a fighter that she didn't want to face him like out in the open when he's out there just what kind of take a smoke it's a cool fluid what is no with the consequences or it probably may do. They're obviously like very close. Pi May's five point palm exploding heart technique. And what pray tell is the five point palm exploding, exploding heart, heart technique? technique? Quite simply. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Of Makes your heart stop with one hit. He hits you, his fingertips. Okay. Five different pressure points on your body. Heart explodes inside your body. Is that real? And you fall to the floor. I mean, I guess it's kind of a myth. He teaches no one. Can she do that later? Do that to Bill, be no. like, boom. And then he walks the away and then I've his heart explodes. Just seeing those steps again makes me ache. It's a lot of steps. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of fun carrying buckets of water up and down that fucker. Oh shit. Teaches a lot though. So he's not the one that taught her stuff. I thought that's the first what it was, but it, she got taught by a legit person. I wonder if he did teach her the five point thing. It's not even that many. I've gone up more. But imagining carrying water, like, that's crazy. At the school field trip in Mo Mozambique where I lived, uh, we went somewhere and there was just this 
tiny village in the bush of Mozambique that we went to. And we had to help them carry water. It took like three of us girls to carry a huge thing of water from the well to the village. And we learned a lot that day about how important water is. Definitely don't waste it. It's a privilege. That guy looks awesome. Is there a paintbrush or what is that? And is there... Oh my gosh, the eyebrows. <laughs> <笑>我教你說話你是不是說東話 now it's like supposed to be kind of comedic, but he seems like a serious dude. <laughs> a lot of verbal abuse here, man. That's how you learn to take shit, give shit too. I can't look at anything but his eyebrows. <laughs> They're perfectly sculpted. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> wow. Ooh, that was cool. Of course. That's a strong sword if it can hold weight like that. <laughs> Did it, a movie parody the scene? I can't remember. Is it a scary movie? Oh. Come on. Let's go. Ooh, yeah. Tiger Claw, let's go. How much training did she have to do for this? I mean, she probably has body doubles, but from what we see of her doing, she probably worked with a stunt coordinator. <laughs> no hands. Does he not have anything? Oh, God. What? <laughs> I thought you could, you could go for the man's weakness, but I mean, she cheated. Shit. Deal with the pain, come on. You can go for it. Dude. Super intense. As well as comedic. I don't know what to feel. Ooh. Oh, that's important for the coffin. Go. Because that's about as thick. I mean, there's soil as well, but can do it. Ah. This is a cool training sequence. I appreciate it. Oh, God. It's like that skin on her knuckle. <laughs> Come on, punch it. <laughs> Dang, this is how her body can deal with anything. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> He's so cool. Oh gosh. The sound effects, I love it. Whoa. In your dreams too. The thing is, she is probably super strong, but she looks so skinny. <laughs> She's so tall that it looks a bit awkward when she does all that. I probably look like that too. Hey, so he didn't do the flick. He was like, hey, hey, that's an improvement, dude. Your chopstick game sucks. Oh, but you've been punching a bunch of stuff, so. <laughs> It's excusable. You got it, you got it, you got it. Can be on the floor. What you got it, you got it, you got it. This is so frustrating to watch. It reminds me of something I watched as a kid. Hey! Yes. I don't know if you guys 
remember whoever is around my age. Sheep in the Big City or something as a cartoon that was on TV. Cartoon Network, maybe? And the entire episode was just the sheep eating rice. And he could only get one little rice grain at a time. And that was the entire episode. And then the restaurant closed so he couldn't finish his rice because he ate so slow. That was the entire episode. And I, I was like, why am I watching this? <laughs> it reminded me a bit of that. Go. That ain't no problem for you. Come on. <laughs> That's the one you stole um, after you came out of a coma, right? From that gross person. Let's go! It's probably thinner than what you're used to anyways, but the dirt, that's the problem. Easily go in your face and mouth and suffocate you that way. Okay, there we go, it's starting to break. Close your mouth though, it's gonna come out of your face. Get out of there! Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. That's interesting filming. Oh shit. Wow, that's pretty scary to film, I think. She seems like she's being taken down. <laughs> it's a zombie. Yes. Be very afraid. You can just take off before entering. <laughs> Nice, chapter 9, okay. I've heard this in like memes. So that's a Texas funeral. That's my money right there in that red bag, isn't it? It sure is. Make okay. sure it's there. It's your sword now. Make sure there's money there. She could easily just take the sword and kill you. I don't know. I don't know how close they are. She was just smart for a blonde. <laughs> Okay, she's blonde. So you kind of just kiss her. Yeah, there's no money, I swear. Oh, there is. <laughs> but she's gonna kill you. There's a catch. What's at the bottom of the bag? Snake. Fuck that. Oh my god. Snakes are like. One of my worst fears. Oh, like a cobra, like a mini cobra. I don't know, a viper. What was her name again in the game? I'd like to introduce my friend, the black black mamba. mamba? Black mamba. Oh yeah, now that I this see it on the floor, black. that's a black mamba. But in the, I don't know. It looked like it had kind of a cobra look to it. They can like raise up like a meter high. Like that's why you never had your windows open when you were driving in South Africa. Single bite can be gargantuan. Mm. No, I've always liked that word, gargantuan. <laughs> so really, She's so cool in this. However, <clears throat> the black mamba can deliver like as 20. much as 100 to 400 Jesus. milligrams of venom from a single bite. It's probably the deadliest of all the snake names they have in the group, so the brat is the deadliest of y'all. Greatest warrior I have ever met. Met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking <laughs> Don't scrub. worry. Elky piece of shit like you. That woman deserved better. Yeah, I agree. I was so disappointed when he tried. He actually got a shot in in the first place. This guy. Gonna, yeah, I was like, are you gonna take the money? <laughs> also, the snake is still there. I would not want to be there. I'd I'd leave the money if the snake was still there. That's how much I hate snakes. But black mambas especially. They oh. I heard stories like we would drive in South Africa, South Africa, and like Kruger Park and all that, and we you can never leave your windows even open at all because they could get in there. You can even like get onto your car somehow if, if you drove over them. Because you will be standing at the final resting place of Beatrix Kiddo. Beatrix Kiddo. Marty Control, sir. Here. Beatrix Melanie Kiddo. Barhouse? We just learned her name. Here. Beatrix Kiddo. Here. Look. What? You go smoke some pot or something. I'll be there soon. <laughs> oh, shit. This time she opened the door and got fucked. Lol, what are you using? <laughs> using the TV antenna, really? 
Come on, come on, come on, you're stronger. Uh oh. Oh shit. Cut. Dang. Ah, they're so equal. But I don't think she knows how to use a sword as properly as she does. Oh. No shoes. No shoes. Dude, every time! She's so bad at the sword. What the fuck? Damn, that's disgusting. <laughs> Lol. That's quite smart, actually. And anyone who tries to drown you in the toilet. Come on, girl. He kept his sword this whole time. The only man I ever loved. Dude, I was like, yeah, why would he sell it for 250 bucks? That's the stupidest thing ever. You finally took it out. Good for you. Just between us, girl. Okay, what? What did you say to Pi May to make him snatch out your eyes? Oh, that was him. <laughs> Fuck, man. I called him a miserable old fool. <laughs> Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> I killed that miserable fool. Shit, really? I poisoned his fish heads. How? Why would you poison a man's fish heads? It's <laughs> pathetic. She seems to really like with like poison and venom and shit. That means you didn't finish your training and you're not as good as B. This is a tight hallway to be fighting with swords. Like really tight. Oh dude, I knew she was gonna do that. Uh she did that with somebody last movie, I think. <laughs> Now you're a blind bitch. <laughs> Good acting on her part. Just screaming and thrashing around. Oh, with bare feet, dude, why? Why? You get some satisfaction from feeling that squish and- Oh, <gasps> okay. Fuck that, fuck that. Fuck that snake. She's not even scared, not even phased. I mean, they don't bite unless you threaten them. She's not dead. Push the snake towards her. Come on. The last chapter already face to face? Oh my god. Yes. Give me this dramatic organ music. This kids singing. I knew from this very moment this boy was a <laughs> oh, Great story, dude. That's how you like to cut women, you sick bastard. Here we go, black and white again, okay? Oh, but the sword isn't. I like that. It's a tint of yellow to it. And the car. Ooh, gun too? Yeah, I mean, you got shot with one last time, so I respect that. What? Freeze, mommy. Bang, bang. Oh god, that's oh. your kid. Oh shit. Get acting, Emma. That's a shocker for sure for her. BB. What does BB stand for? <laughs> so dramatic, I love it. Wow, that's an interesting introduction to her child. It's pretty crazy how easy it is to shift from this all serious tone to having some almost comedic sounds, but also just this dramatic acting, you know? And I like how it all contrasts because it takes you by surprise and is very entertaining to see. I waited a long time for you to wake up, mommy. Hmm, that's so cute. Yeah, you. yeah, you missed like the first four years of her life. That's when a lot of stuff happens, man. I would be so angry. First words, first steps. Pretty little girl. Yeah. First smile. You're the most beautifulest woman I ever shot in the whole wide world. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. You know, sweetie, mommy's kind of mad at daddy. Why, daddy? Were you being a bad daddy? I'm afraid I was. <laughs> it's a good kid. You a bad daddy. And she said, no, no, no. Emilio was on the carpet when I stepped on it. Mmm, the plot thickens. It's pretty psycho. And just how? Emilio Put get fish on a carpet and step on it. I'm 
when you lifted up your foot? What was Amelia doing then? Nothing. It stopped flapping, didn't he? He don't feel any sadness, yeah. He's totally Tell making the perfect assassin. A second, BB. Would you like mommy to watch a video with you before sleepy time? Uh -huh. I really like the pillowcase cross stitch she has. I'm very into cross stitching. No, BB. Shogun assassin is too. No, it's not. Can I watch an assassin too. movie with your foreign? <laughs> I probably saw something similar at that age. He's got a cool place. That couch is pretty awesome. Like, fits the room really well. Private beach just so happens to look particularly beautiful. Bathed in moonlight. <laughs> and it just so happens to be a full moon. Perfect outside. setting for it's a big cool. fight, like in the I last one. The last fight. If you want to sort that's where I suggest. But wow, that looks old awesome. school. Slice each other up at sunrise like a couple of real life. God damn it! Wow. Now, if you don't settle down, I'm gonna have to put one in your kneecap. And I hear that it's a very painful place to get shot in. What is that name? <laughs> I have a solution. <laughs> gotcha. Is that a BB gun? Oh, it's a dart, dude. What the fuck did you Truth serum. My greatest invention. Take my favorite superhero. Dang. Superman. Yeah, the same favorite superhero. Not a great comic book. Not particularly well drawn. I mean, I like Smallville. Mm. That's I've watched it a bunch of times, so <sighs> that's why. A staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. Superman is Clark Kent. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. It is in that characteristic, Superman stands. He's always an alien. Superman didn't become Superman. What Kent wears, the glasses, the business suit, that's the costume. Yeah. That's the costume, Superman. To blend in. I like this. I'm really into Superman. <laughs> Clark Kent is how Superman views us. Interesting thought about Superman. I, I don't know. I, I, I watch a lot of Batman. I watch a lot of Superman growing up. But I always just like Superman. Clark Kent is Superman's critique on the whole human race. I write an essay on that. All those people you killed to get to me. Well, damn good, didn't they? Because revenge is fueling her, too. You let the first lady have a kid. And live a regular kind of yes. life. But I guess, yeah, he's way more attached to B. Is it his baby? Hello, I'm Karen Kim. I'm the hospitality manager of the hotel. I have a welcome <laughs> gift from the management. Well, that's Don't nice, trust huh? it. Can you just leave it by the door? Oh, that's so lucky. Wow. Bullshit. <laughs> Any other time, you'd be a hundred percent right. The further you go, the worse the range is gonna be for the shotgun. Shit. Shit. Don't look. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this fucking shit means. The box with the directions is right there. How do you not know what it means? Blue means pregnant. I'll read it myself, thank you. This is just a sh <laughs> an instructional on how to use a fucking pregnancy test. Okay. Say I were to believe you, what then? Just go home. Bye. <laughs> Good luck. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, I don't think... Um, I don't know. A male assassin would have done the same thing sympathize with that but depends on the person oh and for the record letting somebody think somebody they love is dead when they're not is quite <laughs> they have a really strange relationship and what do i find 
Not only are you not dead, Have a you're family. getting married to some fucking jerk. I win. This is your apology. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm sorry, what? You overreacted? <laughs> Is that your explanation? I'm a killer. <laughs> a murdering bastard, you know that? So if I play betray me, I'm gonna kill you. There are consequences. Was my reaction really that surprising? No. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you really loved her, you wouldn't have killed her. Or tried to. Could. Let's fight. You and You ain't kidding. Dang. Ooh. What? That was awesome. Wow, wow, wow. This scene is so well choreographed. That is so well choreographed. Hey. Did he do the thing? Is his heart exploding? She was like... I don't know. Huh. Plan A taught you the five-point palm exploding heart. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? So I could use it on you if I needed to. <laughs> I don't know. You're my favorite person. I really need to see that scene but again. Once in a while, you can be a real cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen her smile that much in these movies, so that was. Like a genuine smile. Take five steps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, I got it wrong, I guess. There we go. Boom. He did it. I mean, I'd check to make sure, like, check the pulse to make sure, but. I mean, if he isn't dead, there's gonna be a third one, so. Next morning, we're still going? Okay. Well, well, well. Huh? You crying? <laughs> He's sad. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's laugh, crying. Take another pregnancy test or way it was fun, funny, sad. Thank you. She's just relieved for killing all of them. I wouldn't lie on a bathroom floor though. That's kind of gross. Nice. Hey, she did it. All is right in the jungle. R.I.P. Copperhead. Hey, the five, six, seven, eights. There was just there was an actual band. Okay. Do they sing words, is my question. That that literally, that scene took so much time to coordinate. I can't even understand how long it must have taken to do that scene. Hey, Cotton mouth. All right, B-Bill, if you really did. Snake Charmer, that was his name? Dang. Nice, Uma. Nice job. Oh, it says blooper. <laughs> oh come on, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's pull out someone's like it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm glad they kept kept that in. Um, I'm just gonna quickly watch rewatch the fight scene with Bill because I was almost too quick for my liking. I don't know if y'all agree, but it was way too quick because there is a it was a really well choreographed scene, but it happened way too fast. This is a really cool scene. Don't get me wrong, but way too short. That was cool. I like that. And using it to catch this sword. Awesome. There we go. There we go. She did it. And this dramatic music is playing. Honestly, pretty epic. I heard from a lot of people that they definitely they prefer the first one. Um, I mean, it's volume one and volume two. I think of them as like a continuous long movie. Um, I would say... There were bits I enjoyed a lot in this one, and bits I enjoyed a lot in the first one. I might say that the first one is more exciting, just because there's way more fighting. 
Um, that's probably what people like as well, because there's just, there's not a slow moment. There was, like, some bits in this one where I was a bit, uh, bored. I think it was when I was focusing on Bud. Is that his name? Yeah, Bud. Where, like, it focused, there's just this long scene when he went to work. And he's had to fix the toilet, you know? Cool. I didn't really care for that scene. It was like a slower start, but then again, I loved seeing the guy I trained her, Pai Mei. Like, first of all, he looks hilarious. He looks, he looks very entertaining. But you know, his methods were intense and hardcore, and that's how she learned all that shit. Almost wanted more training scenes with him. Could have cut that bud stuff out. I don't really care if he has to unclog a fucking toilet, but I do want to see more fighting. Um, it's hilarious. I was wondering how um, the California snake lady uh, lost her eye and it's just because he plucked it right out and then we've seen um we've seen b do that so i thought that was, that was just you can see all the training that he he did kind of like, like the main moves um we saw him do i feel like we saw her do them as well and we could really see her her training f through him and he was a bit of a dick honestly so i'm not too surprised he was poisoned but it was kind of a weak move like he deserved to go out fighting you know um <laughs> but i loved i had a feeling that that's how bill would go was be that that trick that he was never taught by pai Mei, and i i liked it um i mean the fight sequence itself was only a couple seconds i don't even think it was a minute long but in the first one lucy Liu's fight scene not bef that fight scene alone was way longer but also all the all of her army as well like that was a huge fight scene it was super long and it was you could see a, how tired and exhausted she was and she still was able to defeat um and i'm just gonna call her lucy i'm sorry i'm really bad with names but that scene itself was so beautifully shot i almost wanted what bill offered which was fighting by the moonlight on the beach it would have had the same kind of like feeling as the first one but that simple scene at a table was just it was very well choreographed it was so precise each movement and really cool to witness too short and too quick again so i had to rewatch it but overall i like that it went it went the way that i was expecting where she did manage to get her hand on his chest and do that move and then he took five steps and just died then again when they say that your heart explode i felt like we should have seen more of bill dying because it's two movies about his death killing him it was a cool method of doing it with like a, a trick that he never learned from his master. But since this fighting scene was so short, it was almost anticlimactic. I liked it a lot, um, but building up two movies for this, I feel like it should have been more longer. I don't know. I don't know if you all agree with me. There were certain scenes I feel it like could have been cut out. I also didn't like how close Bud got to killing her, but he was seemed kind of like a sleaze bag. So of course he's not gonna play fair um, at all. And it was a good way to show how um, B learned all like the tricks of punching through wood and all that, which was key in getting her out of being buried alive, which was super scary to, to see. Honestly, it freaks me out seeing those kinds of scenes because I'm slightly claustrophobic. There are snakes as well, so that freaked me out too. So I, I kind of almost enjoyed movies equally. First one was more exciting, but this one had more backstory of her skills, which I liked. First one was definitely had no slow scene in the entire movie, which I was on the edge of my seat for the two hours. Whereas this one, there are certain scenes where I said like, can not be cut out? It was a little slower. Um, but overall, I liked both of them. They worked well together as like a, a whole. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. Let me know what you guys think of the movie. If you agree that the first one is slightly better, um, definitely. Um, if you think the fight scene at the end of this one was a bit anticlimactic or a bit too short, um, but ultimately still pretty cool, um, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next movie reaction. Bye.